This is for the girls who don't believe in happy endings. For the ones who doubt that love is meant to last. For those who are always waiting. Waiting for that tiny crumb of promise at the bottom of a 2 a.m. text. Hoping that they are not just another strand of hair on his pillow, that his heart is blushing when he holds them. This is for the girls buried in the backyards of palm prints, planted in the heat of May. The sheets will cool and unravel by morning, and they will awake with a mouthful of dirt and the realization that he was no honest gardener. This is for the girls who, after being disappointed again and again by the wrong boys, have come to the conclusion that they're not dateable, that it's okay, that they are happy, embalmed as a fallen eyelash, one of many easily blown off a fingertip. This is for the ones who have convinced themselves that it is enough to be a check mark in his wish book, for those who pretend that it doesn't hurt them, that they are strong and carefree, that it is all done in the name of self-preservation. Forgive me. I am not an unsoiled girl. I do not know how much remains left into my corners. Who has taken me? It is anything like the splotch of ruined skin on my mother's left shoulder, bruised and jagged from sadness. And this is not a place I ever wish to find you. Sometimes I catch my toes curling around the edges as if trying to relearn the shape of falling as I once knew. I would jump inside me, finding always that there is no way. I am sorry for not knowing what I want or how I feel. I promise I'm not trying to be difficult. I have been emptied in the exhale of a turn back on many occasions, so on moonless nights when my fingernails mark the trail of your spine, understand that I leave these tiny scratches to help me find my way out when the time comes. I'm sorry for not giving you all of me. You deserve to be given to. Please don't ask me to swallow flower seeds on an empty stomach with my history of tears because I'm not ready for them to bloom inside us. I wish you knew how I made Squeeze my arm with the faintest crack full of rage at the breaking of strength. I have told myself that I should be cautious in an eggshell skin, that I am not made for hugs that stick or for holding hands in public, that this is why I am so easily forgotten. I have often imagined holding my sister during her first heartbreak and telling her that there is someone out there who will love her as a shipwreck. He will have enough patience soaked into his lungs to keep diving under her. I will tell her that in this life, we will all find someone who treasures us someday. Would it be considered lying if I did not believe my own answer? I carry my mother's lack of faith in men and fill it with my own stories. They slosh around the rim and spill inwards as an echo with nowhere to go always returns to the familiar. I often fear that I would pay the same love in exchange for the same emptiness. That by being her daughter, this pattern is knit into my veins. I wonder if this is my fault, or if I have simply inherited a misshapen hook that attracts misshapen things, things I never meant to catch but always find myself trying to keep as if I had the choice. A home reader once told me that there will be a series of boys in my life who will lower my self-esteem. I asked him if there was hope. This is for the girls. He said the lines are always changing. Thank mm -hmm. you.